Hey everybody, Mike here with Tri Delta. I think I've got a pretty interesting no cooling call for you guys today. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Enjoy the video. And thanks for watching. Okay guys, welcome to Okemos. It is 68 degrees. I am trying to be respectful of the neighbors. My voice, I don't want to get too loud, but what we've got going on here today is about 10 days ago, the homeowner turned the unit on when we had an 82 degree day. And uh, she said that the unit wasn't operating properly or it wasn't getting cooler inside the house. So she replaced the air filter she came out and cleaned the condenser coil looks like she did a pretty good job um at that point then what she did was she noticed that there was a block of ice on the suction line so what we're going to do is i'm going to throw my probes on it we're going to see what's going on with what and uh so stay tuned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a photo of the sub cooling I'm going to let this run for about 10 to 15 minutes before I get an actual diagnostic on it. So we're going to do a static pressure test on the system. We're going to make sure that we got proper airflow going across the coil. I'm really hoping that we don't have a TXV problem. We're going to go one speed lower. All right, guys, I moved the speed tap down one more, and now I'm measuring 0 0.79, which gives me about 1,325 CFM. How can I be a negative 13 superheat? I got a subcooling of 10. Right there, they're requiring subcooling of 10. I'm sitting at a 74 degree outdoor temperature. I got a 73 degree indoor temperature. My subcooling's bouncing. My superheat's through the floor. Yeah, I'm thinking TXV problem at this point, so stay tuned. I think we're gonna order a TXV and we're gonna get that thing replaced. All right, guys, let me bring you back up to speed. It's been a couple of days for me. I'm trying to be quiet because the homeowner's office is right next to us. I don't want to disturb her with anything that we've got going on. But essentially what we've elected to do, is we had a difficult time with the acquiring a TXV. So we've elected to just go ahead. I was able to find an evaporator coil, an exact match evaporator coil. We're just going to change out the whole coil. It's going to be quicker. Then waiting for you know a couple of weeks for a TXV. So yeah, let's get let's get started. We're gonna slide that unit in over there, and we're gonna get it right in. It should be an exact fit. That's what we want to hear.
think I'm gonna run the P trap a little something like this I could go a little closer to the unit or the door but I don't think I want to do that so first things first let's get the mail adapter in place and let's see where we go from there All right, guys, while I wait for the system to be evacuated, I figured I'd let you guys take a look at the coil, and I would like to break down my thought process on the situation that we have. So when I take a look at everything, you know, all of my pressures, all of my temperatures, everything is screaming at me, Mike, you've got an airflow problem. Just, just accept it, figure out what's going on, and go from there. The problem is, is that all my static tests, they look pretty good. My my speed settings on the blower are finally dialed in. My my pressure drop across the Merv 11 air filter looks good. You know, pressure drop across the, this coil looked really good. And as you guys can see, it's not dirty by any stretch of the imagination. It's got a little dirt in it, but nothing that would block airflow enough to give me those types of superheat and that type of, you know, low pressure, at, you know, low suction pressure. So at this point through the process of elimination I'm at the TXV and in this case it's going to be the evaporator coil but I just wanted you guys to take a look at it I something else I don't have a restriction across the um, the filter dryer either so I at this point it's got to be the TXV I mean I'm already pot committed so to speak so we're gonna go ahead and finish that evacuation on the unit I'm gonna take a look at everything and let's see how we end up okay slowly but surely we're moving down but this is taking a really long time all right guys I just shut my vacuum pump down now we're isolating I'm gonna do a leak check on the unit let this run for 10 minutes and see what we come up with Okay, if you've made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you for watching. I certainly do appreciate it. I'm at 19.7 temperature differential. After dialing in the airflow, everything looks great to me. My target subcooling was 10. I'm sitting at 10.5, 10.4. It's bouncing a little. Superheat looks good. My refrigerant line isn't frosting. That's really good. I'm going to call this one complete, and I will uh, check you guys out on the next one.